Hi guys, Ash47 here with another update to the level editor. So today I'm going to be talking about ZX save and ZX check files and we're going to show you the latest thing we've been working on. So as you may be aware, the ZX check file has actually changed. The format for that is completely different. So I've edited a map in the map editor. I press continue, try to load the map and you get this error. It says it's been modified by an external application, you can't load this. So we've created the bypass for that and we're going to show that to you right now. So available on the official editor website, we come down a little bit here. There's an explanation about this and there's a tool available. So if you click on that and download the tool, it's an executable file. And if you put that into your game directory, I'll go there now and show you. There we go. So if you extract the archive from before, if you extract it into your game directory where they are billions of exe is, you'll see ZX Sav generator. So what we want to do, we want to come into documents, my games, they are billions, saves, just like before. And you take your ZX Sav file, the one you want to sign or the one you want to generate ZX check for and you drag that into the generator like so it'll pop up it'll say yep it's successfully signed it and then if we come down here we'll see there's a new ZX check file here so that's actually generated the ZX check file for us so what this thing actually does it loads up the AI billions and then it instructs the AI billions to sign the file for us so just to prove that that's worked if I go back into the game okay back in the game if I press continue and go load now there we go it's working so we've successfully bypassed that ZX check which is pretty awesome so naturally, we're going to want to get this code back up into the level editor. At this stage, it's kind of annoying having to use an external executable file like this, but at least it works. So we have a solution for now. Eventually, hopefully we can get ZX checks to be generated on the website again. Until then, this is the way to do it. So thanks for listening. If you like this update, make sure to leave a comment. If you want to support the channel, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel, of course.